Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. If Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. I think you may have misinterpreted things. Oh. Sorry. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... Retribution, Bruce. What doctor? for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? 
left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. other. Who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo! <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! It's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself then. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You remember? 
remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swap... <laughs> No, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. No! Yeah, they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass. Stop. Just take another I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Good care of him. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> But everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem. Carnage! The usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh -sh -sh. His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? the right key for this. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes, I cracked it. <laughs> shh, shh. Lewis, I swear if you don't shh. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's just, it's just, it's his voice. It's driving me nuts! Oh, good job. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. The guy I walked in here with, what can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. I'm not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe 
and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? He cheats. Every time, he cheats. This is what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you. If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? No reason. No reason. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. What's that? Oh, no, no, no. That's not polite at all. At all. Hello? Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. What can you tell me about, uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky trade depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one. This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing <laughs> two-faced... I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. 
Now, this is good television. Mayor on our frame page versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Harvey is going way too far. You think so? I can't wait to see where he goes next. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? We will meet again. I promise you that. All right, tell you what. I'm going to make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Daz. Hello, Saz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before?
or you kill someone. What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match anymore. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! The skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Shut Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> 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 Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried to stop it. The whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. What's that about? <laughs> Tell me that you love me, even if 